what's up with the youtube and welcome back to another reaction video bro today we're gonna be adding to prime hood cinema what happened to notorious bro um i haven't did no reactions to him on this channel bro i have been watching his videos for a very long time i ain't gonna say very long time but it's been a while though. it's been probably like a year so i just never did any reactions on this channel to him um but his videos are very funny and i feel like it's something that y'all really enjoy to watch because it's very entertaining but um uh, further ado, y'all already know what the business is like comment subscribe hit the bell because you know the case is going to my post and please share the video uh, further ado, let's get into this thing you did look at biggie yo <laughs> It starts off with Biggie Smalls riding around LA with all his homies. They just yeah. came back from a party or a McDonald's or something. Then he gets shot and it goes into some narration, Good. of course. Hood movie. Please. I'm not even gonna complain about it no more. I'm at the In the beginning, God gave me a clean slate. Uh -huh. The way I grew up. I knew I couldn't stay clean. We flash back to the 80s and Biggie Smalls a little kid now yeah. in Brooklyn. He real yeah. shy. He like a- Why the boy looks like Lil nigga, Drake? Norbert looking ass nigga. Tori in the house looking ass nigga. He didn't get no hoes or whatever. He didn't get any picked on at school. It's real sad. Y'all want an autograph? We gonna be in the magazine one day. Chris Shy ass can't be in no magazine. Oh my God. Fat, black, and ugly. Mm. Oh. Oh. no train tracks in my mouth. Ooh. Biggie Smalls got a sad hood life. He poor and stuff also. He don't got a Man. Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis. That's Man, pretty sad. That's but he got all his rap music though. He loved listening to rap music. Sugar Hill Gang or whoever the fuck. He ain't coming back, is he? Oh, he's coming back. He starts trying to be a rapper and rap about all his problems. This nigga pretty whack though, I'm not gonna lie. You ain't no pops to me. You just some nigga sipping on tea. <laughs> One day he's sitting on his stoop writing his rhymes and he's watching all the happy drug dealers go by. Yeah. He sees them all wearing these shiny yeah, white Air Forces sure. and he wants I some white I Air Forces. I need some more, bro. So he goes up to his friend, fake Chris Brown, and asks to get some <laughs> I knew D Rock was fucked up enough to show me how to play. So you ready to be yeah. a big baller? No one talks. Motherfucker got addicted to crack after they first hit. But I got addicted to money after my first sale. Biggie Smalls yes, sir. Up. Yes, sir. he's 17 now, he's getting ready for school, school. and he's chopping up all his drugs yeah, one morning, his mom comes in, played by Angela Bassett, Bassett. fine ass, Ooh. she awesome. Mm. Beautiful. Star. She <laughs> fine as hell, she <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not still lying in that bed, are you? You saying your prayers? Would you hurry <laughs> up before you make us both late for class? I'm gonna drop off that word, baby. Wait, so you keep all your clothes Those locked up in the safe box on the roof. roof. Would you keep your drugs on an unwrapped uh, plate wait. under the bed? What the Curve. fuck? That no makes no type of sense. I would rather get caught with the clothes than the drugs, drugs. right? Exactly. Wait. What? It don't even make sense. It's lucky dumb. That's really dumb. <laughs> he goes to school now and he's barely paying attention. He being rebellious and all that to his teachers. Generic musician biopic. Yesterday you said I was gonna end up a garbage man. And a teacher makes twenty four thousand a year. And the garbage man makes twenty eight thousand a year. Mm. Man, you fat as fuck. Nigga. <laughs> So look at it like, bro, nigga. Okay, and. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. Smalls takes his girlfriend out to Denny's or something. This is girlfriend right here. Okay, she's pregnant now, by the way. I'm pregnant. Lord. They kind of speeding through this nigga life, bro. It's the exactly. exact same problem as the Tupac movie. 
It's the first 10 minutes, bro. Already we seen his dad Dang. leave. He got bullied. Right. He grew up. He started so, selling so drugs. Jokes. He having problems in school. school. His girlfriend is pregnant. It's been 10, 10 minutes. Like, oh, God. It's like a couple parts, my nigga. You exactly. can't take somebody whole entire life in the two hours. Why even try that? How has nobody learned this lesson yet? He's all selling drugs now okay. again. He's barely got time for rapping at this point. He made that one whack ass it's, verse it's, about it's, sipping tea or whatever, <laughs> but they set the rapping part aside to really focus in on the drug dealing part. Yeah. Which they don't really focus on either. It's just a montage. All right. Okay. The drug dealer was like my wife. Rapping was just some chick on the side. This kid named mm. Primo called me out. Everyone was jocking. Look at the grill. Yeah, I know who the king of porn is. Hey, DJ, tell me something nice, man. Okay. Let me tell you a little story about the poop poop cream. Hey. Hey, more like Mr. Clean. <laughs> me and his hands. <laughs> so you might get into it. Best style Brooklyn where this rapper was originated. Your rhymes ain't shit. Your flow's constipated. He wins the rap mm. battle against this nigga. DJ D Red. Right. What is this microphone they use? <laughs> exactly. What the heck? Boy, that look like a water hose. <laughs> oh, God, bro. What? Is that an actual microphone? That should look like a piece of a stove. Weird ass 90s yeah, it's equipment, good. boy. It's exactly. like a garden hose. Also, this scene is actually a recreation of that one Biggie clip where he's rapping outside this bodega. It's a nice touch. touch. I like stuff like that. I like Why this not? whole Biggie performance, actually. The movie itself is doo doo, but this guy is super sure. good. I fuck with him. Yeah, he was. In the last month, you have missed 20 days of school. I got something to do right now. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Jan's pregnant. I'm going to be a father. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who wrote this, this shit? shit? There's no way yeah. this nigga would be that excited. Excited about having a kid at 17 years old. Bro, ain't no nigga. Bro, <laughs> 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 the clip. Bro. Tell his mom about a teenage pregnancy. He's not an idiot, idiot, bro. His mom is from Jamaica. She probably beat the shit out of this nigga in real life. Exactly. And he ain't expecting it, too. It probably went more like this. <laughs> Please tell me that you are not that stupid. So I can spend all my days taking care of you, feeding you, cleaning up all oh, plates of mashed potatoes you leave under your bed. You what? You take care of yourself. How are you going to take care of me? Those wasn't no damn mashed potatoes, alright? <laughs> Shout it. Wait, 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 wait. Mashed potatoes? Who wrote this script? <laughs> mashed potatoes? Dude, what the fuck are you talking? Damn, that does he not look like no mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Fat ass boy? Nah, I feel him though, definitely. That's some expensive it's, 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 ass mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. How does his mom not know what drugs look like? Exactly. I guess he's selling crack. It's probably a new thing. I don't know. Forget it. Kick his ass out of They have another montage and Biggie Smalls gets locked up. Dope. He got caught with all the drugs. Dang. Again, this is all interesting stuff that they could be yes. showing us right now. But it's way easier to do a montage. montage. Instead I of showing the whole thing. I had four young cats out on the streets, but I was moving too fucking fast and I slipped up. Damn. I need your help. No, you got yourself into this mess. You get yourself out. Hey, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? Is this been a bar? Anyway, Biggie locked up, <laughs> and we get to see what his life is like in jail now. Just joking. They do another montage. Oh, he out of jail. Honestly, they could have started the movie right here yeah. with him just getting out. We could meet his whole family and get a lot of the backstory yeah, out of like, the way right the here. Heck? And it wouldn't take 22 goddamn minutes this. and three flashbacks and four montages. <laughs> then my frustrations turned into rhymes, and those rhymes told my story. Uh, what? I know how I feel to wake up fucked up. Oh, shoot. Yo, it's Chris, man. Yo, what's up, Chris? What's going down? I'm yeah. chilling. I'm chilling. The microphone murder of mass mayhem make up. Be a genius on the mic, call the undertaker. Brothers hold wanna on, hear on, the hold words big up. What'd you say at the beginning of your rhyme? B I G? Yeah, Biggie Smalls. Biggie. He raps this one time in somebody's basement. Now he's getting a record yeah, deal yeah. all of a sudden. Exactly. No build up. I know what exactly. you did for Jodeci and Mary J. Don't chase the paper, chase the dream. 
You can throw me butt naked in the jungle and I'll come out with a with a chinchilla coat, a leopard hat. Antoine Fisher what? in the movie. He can play his Puff Daddy or whatever the he fuck did. he was calling himself at this point in time. <laughs> it's a good performance, too. This shit is pretty convincing. I'll give the actors their credit. Yeah, they, this is a thousand like times they did a better job, than the yeah. Tupac movie. Hell yeah. It's got a lot of the same problems, though, where they're glossing over everything and not giving any real details. But the actors themselves do a good job. Yeah. Like this chick, too. The girl from Power. Oh, she yeah. This, oh, dang, that show is... Damn. I didn't even notice. She's playing Lil' Kim, and yeah, again, Good. it's not a bad performance at all. It's just probably had a Lil' Kim, a girl, Some of the bro. dialogue, though, is just so Lil trash. Kim. It fucks up the whole ride. What's up, big mama? Every day you ask me how I'm doing. It's because I care. Whatever you say, big papa. Why the fuck would he call her Big Mama? Mama exactly. That's not a fitting name for her. Lil Mama would have worked way better. She a small woman. She can still turn around and call him Big Papa regardless. It still works either way. Also, it's Lil Kim. Calling her little right here would have been perfect. Why Big Mama? That's like grandma, basically. Whoever wrote this don't get no bitches. Puffy goes to Biggie Smalls and he got, everybody got fired or whatever. Uh -huh. The record deal is over. He Damn. fucking just got the record, record deal. deal. Exactly. It's legit been like three minutes of screen time. Yeah. They keep doing this. You gotta build up the fucking conflict, dumbass movie. The only thing I got lined up is some, some college shows. It's gonna be a minute before I get something real. Damn. Just because we got knocked down, I don't mean we can't get back up. Anyway, since Biggie lost exactly. his record deal, he goes back to selling drugs again. That means he's back to he going, going back to, to jail. jail again. <laughs> oh, fuck! No, he can't run for the cops, bro. One of you is going down for carrying an illegal firearm. Whichever one it is, I don't give a shit. Lord. Look, this music shit you got going on, it'll come around every fucking day. I told you how to get into the drug game. Now I'm telling you how to get the fuck out. Biggie and his friend D-Rock get arrested, but D-Rock decides to, to take, take the, the charge, blame for everything. Bro. Right there on the spot. Nigga, get a lawyer no, first. Exactly. What? Try Whatever. to do something. Just get this nigga off my screen, bro. I'm sitting <laughs> looking at this atrocious <laughs> fade. This nigga got that Magneto fade. <laughs> <laughs> Origins head ass. Batarang head ass. From do a damn Biggie. I was a terrorist since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. They have Biggie Small's first gig at this college. Everybody likes his performance. Then Tupac shows up, and now Biggie Smalls. Everybody love him instantly. Also, uh, yeah, it's goddamn, the, uh, Anthony Mac. Like, this is that's the worst crazy, Tupac yeah. I ever seen. What the fuck? fuck. You don't look like Tupac. <laughs> At all, like bro. Ivory Check it out, motherfucker. I'm Tupac. Oh, he was Tupac. None. Bro, I didn't really watch the movie like that. But it was Tupac. <laughs> Yo, they really cast the wrong nigga for that. Puffy and Biggie lie. doing their Bad Boy Records adventures. Puffy started his own record label. It's called Bad Boy Bro, Records. Just... Now everything going good again. Get They're getting real in. rich. Biggie mom had breast cancer also for a couple minutes, but she's feeling better now. That's not a part of the story no more. My mom has breast cancer. Talk, we gonna fix that. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, I was just talking about you about Gabe, but telling you that shit. But uh, you know, I had taste you. What you doing, girl? You ain't on break it. What's how you go? You wanna just copy that now? Hi, love you. Come on. Okay, guys, we back. How your moms? Getting the strength back. They go to the studio and they start making all of Biggie's best songs. I actually like this part. They finally show all these niggas hanging out in one song for an extended exactly. period of time. It's like an actual movie now. <laughs> Here's something. <laughs> if I spit this, niggas gonna be laughing. If you spit this, niggas gonna be laughing at you all the way to the bank, big. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. They have a bunch of party scenes, mm. and he's hanging out some more right. with Anthony Mackie Valley. Also, <laughs> <Lil> <laughs> started her rap career. She learned how to be sexy Sissy. and all that. Then Biggie Smalls meets Faith Evans, and they start dating mm. and get married. Lil mm. Kim is jealous, and now Biggie Smalls in a love triangle or something. something. 
crazy, yo. Uh, what, what? You got it going on. What, what? What, what? <laughs> what? Who is it? Nigga, pause, no, pause, 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 pause. All y'all niggas. It's, these poor it, hype men, bro. They oh, God. Repeat all these sus ass lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie's hanging out with his homeboy, <laughs> Multiverse Tupac. They develop a song <laughs> it's for a few seconds. Biggie tells us all about Tupac personality instead of showing us. They best exactly. friends now. I had a kid come to me the other day tell me I was his hero. Malcolm X should be your hero, Dr. King. That was Puck. Word of Doc. Ask 10 people who Puck is and you get 10 different answers. Mm. I like how they couldn't think of something profound for this nigga Tupac exactly. to say. So they just put the biggie narration over top of it. Y'all niggas could have put any random Tupac quote right here. Y'all exactly. so crazy. Bro. Now it's the next scene and Tupac gets shot. Sure. Now they not friends Fresh no more. Yo, big man, Puck is downstairs getting rolled on, man. They had the gun in my face and everything. Puck, what happened, Puck? Yo, Tupac didn't phone. know who the fuck to trust. I'm as far as he was concerned, oh, shit. everyone there was responsible. Yeah. Just give us time, let this cool down. Shit doesn't make any sense. Exactly. We thought all the bullshit without that. And one other thing I'd like to say. Shit. Any artists out there that want to be artists? Is that Suge Knight? His ugly? Oh my God. Don't have to worry about the executive producer. All on the records, dancing. Come to death row. Damn. Wow. They really just be using anybody, anybody to play, play Suge Knight. Knight. I swear to God. This is yeah. the worst Suge Knight ever. This nigga like CeeLo Green. <laughs> Knight comes in. He's the owner of Tupac's record label, Death Row Bro, Records. He real crazy, geez, and he declare a war uh, on Bad Boy Records, and he say they some mark-ass bitches or whatever. There's a war going on between the East Coast and West Coast rappers, and it's getting worse every day. Now Pac's coming out with his new song, getting that biggie, and the whole thing's mm. getting out of control, man. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on Bad Boy, niggas fuck for life. Oh, God. Too far fixed to face Oh, God. <laughs> You fuck this nigga, nigga. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we're playing no type of game, yo. Bro, this nigga a good ass actor, man. Oh they god. Have some good moments in this movie. The scene is only like thirty seconds it's, long, though. They really just be glossing over it. these huge moments like it's nothing. We need more detail. Oh god. Damn. Can I have some more movie, bitch? <laughs> What happened with you and Pop? We took that picture, and that's all it was supposed to be. And that's all it was. Damn. <laughs> what size is it? It was a 14s like you had. This ain't no fucking 14. Fucking 12. She ain't no fucking 12. Everybody out the car. The media is doing whatever they can to keep this East Coast, West Coast thing going on. I want to be the last cat still standing. What now, huh, motherfucker? Pop? Yeah. Westside, oh. motherfucker! Oh, you on the God. Side. What you gonna do now, bitch? Come on, man. Westside, Oh my God. Tupac ends up getting shot Sorry. and killed. Biggie sings his oh song film or something. Some more stuff happens. happens. Now Biggie, Biggie gets shot, shot, and it's the end of the movie, movie. Finally, his funeral is super lit. Also, so, everybody loved Biggie Smalls. The movie over now, basically. There's more yeah. to it, but it's fine. You it's get it. Come on, man. You know, in the end, I like this one way better than the Tupac movie. Yeah, it has a lot of the. I yeah, the Tupac movie was was dragged, yo. I I don't know. It wasn't good. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Like it didn't fully go into detail like this one either, but it just like it just didn't hit better than this one did. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Like at all. Those same problems with the pacing and the mediocre writing. Yeah. But the actors really saved the day Dang. on this one. They all did pretty good. The casting was spot on. Besides Suge Knight and this ugly <laughs> ass Tupac, Tupac variant, <laughs> Tupac, that was not good. I feel like most biopics fall into the same trap. Yeah. They try to tell the person's whole story in like uh -huh. 90 minutes, minutes which you can't is do that, impossible bro. to do. And it's unnecessary. You don't need to show this nigga as a baby or whatever. Yeah, Just pick a fascinating story or two from their life and flesh it out. Don't worry about the whole timeline. I don't care about yeah, his exactly, dad sipping bro. tea or whatever. Fun fact though, the kid version of Biggie was played by his real life son. Oh, Biggie it was? Paul Jr. That's probably the main reason they did oh, the flashback dope. so they can include him. 
Can't be mad at that. Yeah, Overall, okay. it's just kind of sloppy. Like, there's no flow to any of this. Scene. Yeah, it had no it type of pacing like whatsoever. It's a coherent yeah. movie. It literally feels like raw-ass <laughs> bullet points. Like Biggie Smalls cliff notes. Not to mention, they kind of just made this nigga a big doofus the whole time. <laughs> like, a bunch of stuff is just happening to him. Like, Forrest Gump. He's not proactively doing anything for himself. They act like he didn't build his whole yeah, entire too, career too. on purpose. They kind of playing with this nigga. Either way, exactly. it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I probably won't watch it ever again. It's not really entertaining at all. Maybe a couple cool. parts. But hey, at least Biggie Smalls got a movie. Yeah. That's it. Make sure you like the video. Watch all the other videos. Follow me on Twitch. I'm live on Twitch every Tuesday yes, and Thursday. We just finished Flavor of Love Season 2. Bro, it just wasn't... It just wasn't even like... Oh, I spot on good movie. Like, it was okay. Like, for the, you know, it's a little parts that they did show. But yeah, like he said, the pace of was terrible. Like, like literally, how you jump from his childhood to him being 17, <coughs> then him getting arrested, then going straight to freaking he being rich, bro. You gotta cut out the whole hard work and dedication. Y'all didn't gave all of that out. Y'all didn't get none of that. But um, that was probably for the cinema, bro. If y'all want to see any more videos, please leave in the comments. I definitely react to some of these videos. Or some of these old videos, if y'all want to see that I haven't seen. Oh, so we don't do fake reactions about this bitch. But um, no. Um, but that's Jay Killer. You already know that boy is out. Peace.